We're going to talk about the connection between decimals and percentages. We'll start off with a decimal. For example, 0.63. Now, 0.63 stands for 63 a hundredths. We have the tenths column and the hundredths column. So we've got 63 one hundredths. And that, of course, is equal to 63%. And that's quite easy. We can turn decimals into percentages and percentages into decimals. 72% is 0.72, quite easily. If we have just one digit after the decimal point, for example 0.4, then that is equal to not 4%, but 40%. We have to think of an extra zero just being there. If we wanted to write 4%, that would look like this, 0.04, and that would be 4%, a bit like pounds and pennies, okay? If we wanted to turn percentages back into decimals, then I could take something like 60%, and that would be 0.6, or 0.60, but we tend not to put the zero after the decimal point in that situation. The connection between percentages and decimals is something you should be able to do in your head. If we take it one step further and look at a long decimal, for example, now this is a very long decimal, it's probably far more accurate than we need to be bothered about. 0.134792 it goes perhaps on and on even and that gets smaller and smaller we don't have to worry about it but if we want to just think about the percentage we look at the first two numbers after the decimal point and in this particular case it's about equal to 13 percent we could be more accurate and call it 13.4 or 13.47 for example but around about 13 percent is usually good enough In this case, we have 6%, but the 5 afterwards suggests that it's 6.5%, which of course is 6.5%. So this would be equal to 6.5%. If we wanted to round it off to the nearest percent, like we did here, 13%, we could say 23% but we'd have to look at the next digit and because that digit is more than five or five or more then we ought to round up and so this is approximately equal to 24%.